Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I want to uh, bring up a point that was brought to me by a very perceptive young lady. It was a quote uh, with respect to the character in the Bible that in English Bibles is called Jethro, in, uh, in Hebrew Yitro, Yisro. And it says in the 18th chapter of Exodus, verse 1, that Yisro heard everything that God did to Moses and to Israel, his people. So what was this everything? Our sages say it refers specifically to uh, the miracles at the Red Sea, the Sea of Reeds, the parting of the sea, allowing the Jewish people to pass in safety when the charioteers came through, crashing the waves down, um, and the um, we made a, a video uh, a, while, a little while ago about the, the Shiriam, the Song of the Sea, sung by Miriam. So what was the uh, very perceptive young lady's problem. She said, wasn't the miracle at the sea enough? Parting the sea so it's like a wall on either side, uh, people passing through on dry land, entire army, except for Pharaoh, wiped out um, in the, in, in, when the waves come crashing in. That's not enough. He needs the war against the Moloch too. I mean, is, isn't, I mean, the, 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 the miracle of the sea is unparalleled. Nothing's happened like that. Um, and the victory against the Moloch, eh, a lot of people pull off great, mis, uh, uh, great victories. They're not miraculous. Napoleon was, uh, was famous for pulling off victories with fewer men and, uh, and, and lesser arms and forces. Great generals can do this. It's not necessarily miraculous. So what's the deal? It was Harav Shlomo Gestetner who uh, explains that while indeed uh, the, the splitting of the sea, the splitting of the Yamsuf, the Red Sea, the Sea of Reeds, was an incredible event that had no equal, a person could rationalize it and say, well, God was saving them physically. And, you know, he saw a danger and he brought in a miracle and, uh, to save the people physically. It doesn't necessarily mean that it was specifically for the Jewish people. He could have done it for somebody else. It doesn't necessarily connect them with going to uh, Sinai and getting the, the Torah. But the victory against Amalek, this line of thought, Rav, Rav Gestetner's line of thought, goes, here... Amalek went out of his way to attack the Jewish people because he wanted to destroy them physically, uh, sorry, spiritually. They posed no physical threat to Amalek. As a matter of fact, Amalek wasn't even on the way. He was far past. He traveled a long way specifically to attack the Jewish people because they were the Jewish people. And this is why... Um, now, a lot of people heard of these miracles. A lot of people heard of the plagues in Egypt. They heard of, uh, of the, the, the splitting of the sea. They heard of Amalek. But the thing with Yisro, the thing with Jethro, was that he was able to internalize this and see this as, um, uh, as, uh, as I said in previous, finger, uh, previous videos, uh, Pharaoh's magician saw, this is the finger of God. And he was able to see that... Um, after they were rescued from Amalek, that um, he was convinced that uh, the Jewish people's spiritual destiny um, was truly what mattered to the Creator. And um, it gave uh, merit to the Jewish people over all other nations. And this is what uh, motivated Yisrael to leave Midian and, um, and join the Jewish people. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding some benefit in these, uh, in these videos. I hope, I hope they provoke some thought. I hope uh, 
they provoke some uh, spiritual growth in you. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.